And we are now live. What's up? What's up, Lawrence? How you doing? Yeah, yeah. Let me invite my girls so we can get Diva Talk started. You feel me? What is up, bro, bro? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I changed it up a little bit. You know, now I've been uh, wearing the berets <laughs> a lot. But, uh, you know, now I had to change it up in something else. So, the noises when I move. Let's see. <laughs> old man noises. Why are you making old man noises? What's going on? What's up? What's up, y'all? All right, I'm about to invite you in, true, 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 there you go. Well, you don't look 41. True, I'm trying to invite you in. Uh... I just sent you the invite, sis. Hey, guys. Hey. Mm, got lipstick on my teeth. What is <laughs> up, True? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. <laughs> just had a long day. Yes, yes. Oh, here comes Diamond Domina. Let me get you in here. Diamond, so sexy. <laughs> yeah. Come through. Wait, how do you do that with the little sparkle thing? We got it's... an old lady on Instagram. Wait, hold on. What is that? Wait, where it go? Ooh. Hey, Diamond. Hey. How y'all doing? How you feeling, girl? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Yes. Diamond, you want to do the intro and go ahead, do your thing? <laughs> all right y'all welcome to diva talk tonight the podcast show all right yes. got my co-host diamond uh shout out to brandy she was uh supposed to make it but uh she's you know going hard uh with her work and everything that she's doing shout out to brandy and uh our special guest we have is true true threads entertainment 510 what's up true Hey, how y'all doing? Come through with the come through. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh my God, your fashion show was amazing. Whoa. You know what? It really couldn't have been amazing without people like you. Oh. <laughs> that, and that's, no, that's right. That. <laughs> that's exactly why we got to do it again. No, we are actually. Um, so uh, I decided that we're going to split the show up a little bit. And so we are going to do maybe like the, the music and uh, the costume portion for Halloween. And then we'll do like the actual fashion for our uh, winter season, which will be like November, December, January kind of thing going on. Ooh. Okay, nice. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, you know, yeah. why don't you tell everybody overall what you do? Because I, I know you as an event planner, as a uh, fashion designer, uh, as an artist, right? Yeah. As a beautiful mother. Oh, my oh, gosh. You're the coolest <laughs> mom ever. <laughs> oh, that makes me blush. Please. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, so... Uh, a little background about me. I'm an Oakland native. Um, I'm super loyal to my soil. I love my city a whole bunch. Um, and, uh, during the pandemic, uh, I was pretty much laid off my job. And so I figured there was no time like the present to 
chase some of the dreams that have been harboring over my heart, you know? Um, and so one of those things was to start my own business. Um, and it turns out that I um, had a knack for a couple of things like event planning, like you mentioned, um, but it's more than just that. And so uh, uh, we have a mother prize. I call it a mother prize. It's an enterprise of companies under one umbrella. Um, and it's called True Tsunami Collective, which is a collective of different areas that we nurture. Um, in the process of that, we try to elevate other individuals to make really big waves, really big waves of change. Um, and so whether that's supporting other artists or supporting other local small businesses or any other things that, that, that are in alignment with us, we try to support those things through the collective. So that's pretty much who brought the show to you this past month um, mm -hmm. for July. So under that, we have True Threads 510, which is a clothing and cosmetic line that me and my daughter started together this past uh, year during the pandemic. Um, and so we collaborated with the True Tsunami Collective and all of our partners to bring the fashion and the concert show to you guys. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just really exciting to develop. It's actually really hard being a small business owner. Um, which was another reason why we started these events was because I figured if I was having some of these struggles, there had to be other people out there having these same struggles as I was, you know, and so I just figured it's strength in numbers and that's why we should really just try to do it together. Nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's great. Like when you first hit me up and you were, you were just like, Hey, you know, um, you want to join the team? You want to, you know, help us put something together? And I was looking at your page and stuff. I was like, okay, she seems like a really cool chick, you know? And sure enough, when I met you, like, you had your shit together. When I came to uh -oh. the Wave Studios, like, you had everything all set up uh, to do <laughs> missions uh, for your event. Yeah. And um, you had sponsors. You had caterers. You had all kind of top models at your event. Oh, my God. Like, you just, I take my hat off to you. You, you work hard. Right? Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, the models, shout out to all the models. They were so freaking incredible. Um, I appreciate each and every one of them. If there's any of them watching, I love you all. Um, tap in with me, please. <laughs> tap in, tap in. Yes. So Yeah, we missed you, Diamond. I know. I was so sad when I heard you wasn't coming. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna miss her. I was like, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. And now, yeah, we don't need to say that on live. But yeah, yeah no, I, I'm, I'm just glad that you feel better, like in real life, because I was kind of worried about you. Like the second day in, I'm like, oh, okay, she kind of okay, but she's not feeling better. I just have to pray. You know? Mm -hmm. Oh, I had a whole lot of that because I was, you know, scared it was Corona or something crazy. <laughs> so I was like, please, everybody, please, please. <laughs> no, but welcome back. Yes, it should be at Thank the next. Yes. Yeah. I'll be performing live next time. <laughs> yes. 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 That's right. That's right. So, uh, true. Tell us, uh, what you know, what inspired you to do all that you're doing? Uh, plain and simple, my daughter. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, I've had a very uh, challenging journey in life, much as all the rest of us. Um, I'm a cancer survivor, and as I still kind of like wave through the challenges of getting it right, you know what I'm saying? Um, that that is, it, it holds a lot of water in my story. You know, um, they told me I wasn't going to be able to keep my arm because my arm is where the cancer was and they wanted to amputate it and then they were like oh the chemo's not working and then you know they were like this and that and you're reproductive and you may not be able to have kids and mm -hmm. you know despite all of that I've defied all the odds that they said I couldn't you know mm -hmm. um so just having this little gem of a person uh here to not only remind me of all of that, but to elevate me in certain ways that I could never have imagined um, is really where all of my inspiration comes from. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. And when, when, when she uh, walked in, to, uh, in on the surprise party, she was just, you should her face. She was just like, God, my mom did this. Oh. 
<laughs> no, she, I could tell, like, she was totally in shock, though. Like, it was wonderful. <laughs> I loved it. Like, I still, like, thank you all so much for being a part of that. It was so great. Did someone send you the footage? Uh, yeah, I got a couple of different videos. Um, the editing game is so crazy, right? And so, like, because the amount of videos I got and how long they are, like, I'm going to have to sit and scythe through everything. I'm going to make, like, a little compilation of videos so we can all have a little, you know, digital keepsake. Um, but it, it, it's, a, it's a lengthy game, so just give me a minute. But I got y'all. <laughs> okay. You can always put it on YouTube. <laughs> Start your channel. Yeah, this is true. This is true. <laughs> this is true. Somebody else told me that I just I I um looking at all the work that I have to do when it comes to like editing or just orchestrating, like it's so much. Like I really hope that we get one of these grants so that I can like bring some other people on to kind of help scatter these tasks around, you know, because like being scattered, it kind of like even though you felt like I had it together, I felt like I could never do enough. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, but that's good. You seem to have things in order. You know how to control everything you're doing. You're not scatterbrained about it because, you know, we all want to multitask and do everything, but it's, you know, but it's, it's hard sometimes. Yeah. Um, yeah, totally. Yeah, 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 definitely. And um, True, I just want to mention, and Diamond, I don't know if you saw on her page, she spit a 16. And ooh, I saw that. Wait. Oh I saw that. God. I had to show that to a couple of people. They're like, what? Oh my God. Um, true. Like, you really need to pursue rap. Um,. Well, awesome. you know what? We actually, we actually got to connect because you said you were going to help me get on uh, whatever platform it was that I needed to get on to like disperse the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something yep. like that. Uh -huh. So um, let's let's talk about that because I'm totally with you. I um I thought I had acquired a label that was going to take me on, and unfortunately, that didn't kind of work out. Um, so I'm still a free agent. Hey. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, maybe, yeah, my company Diggs Media Group might have to, you know, talk to you and see what your goals are and, yeah. you know, where exactly you're at in your career right now and what you want to, yeah. you know what I mean? It's no time like the present right now. Like, if anybody's going to take me, like, now's the time to grab me. Right. <laughs> For sure. Guys, okay? <laughs> 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 so I'm putting it out there in the universe. It's out there. Yep, you got to. It's out there. Yes, yes. Yep. So I guess, um, do you have any advice for those out there that want to be in your shoes, whether it's, you know, event planning, a uh, position, uh, you know, designing clothes and so forth? Ooh. Uh, I can say a lot. <laughs> Um, really, honestly, some of the things I learned just during this particular process of the last year, um, would be stay true to your fucking self, um, because balance and, and, you know, balance is key, you know, um, but stay, stay true to yourself. What the <laughs> um, you know your vibe attracts your tribe surround yourself with good people people who you know resonate with your vibration um, I think that's the only reason why this event was able to be as successful as it was was because I tried to find people who were aligned with the purpose you know, of the project and the production and, and, and the purpose that I'm driving with, you know, which is all of you lovely people. Um, and then, you know, uh, find some time for self-care. You know, it's something I'm still trying to teach myself. And, like, even though I took a few moments for myself, but I, the universe kind of forced me to take those moments. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have. You know, so just find the time mm -hmm. to do it on your own so that the universe doesn't make you sit down, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, and we might have to sit down again 
uh, probably after this summer, you think, huh? <sighs> I hope not. I really hope not. I think that a lot of our projects and what we're doing has gained really great momentum. And I'm just praying for the most high to continue to bless us with that kind of abundance. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It's crazy. I think, I, okay, if, we, if, if, if the world doesn't shut down again, I think everyone now has just adjusted to everything that's going on. Like, okay, we know we got to wear a mask. You know, some of us have the shots or whatever and mm -hmm. have to practice safety on our own because a lot of businesses mm -hmm. can't afford to close down anymore like they did before. You know what I mean? So, Girl, no, in real life. Mm -hmm. And I've just seen that on the news before we got on or like a little snippet of what's to come on the news. And they were talking about the um, the cases of Corona are starting to spike and they don't know what they're going to do about the Olympics and some other stuff. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I thought we was over that, hump. <laughs> right. Right. Clearly not. <laughs> right. <sighs> Clearly not. Ugh. Right. Can't take it. Somebody's not doing their job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? I have my own opinion about this. Like, I already feel a type of way about the vaccines. I feel like we don't, you know, what we do know, we still don't know enough because there's always stuff to be uncovered. Yep. You know, and by the time we find out the general public, it's like 20 years old, unless it's something as rapid as this corona situation, which still, how long were they, you know, burying and, and cultivating this before it popped on the scene right mm -hmm. um, but that's yeah. another conversation <laughs> oh, speaking of truth, my love and um, I guess now to get into uh, the next part of our conversation uh, Diamond so I have a question for you guys yeah if a billionaire gave you 10 million dollars who and what would you do with it and who would you give the money to first if you get like charity wise uh, I would disappear for a little while <laughs> <laughs> um who or what would I do with it you know like I'm I'm a cancer so I'm like such a big gummy bear or a sour patch. I've given it mostly to my mom and my daughter, you know, like they are like the, the foundation of my entire life, you know. So if anybody's gonna get anything first, it's gonna be them for sure. That's so what about, How you, about you, Kelly? Kelly? Uh, let's see. Um, who would I do? Is that what, was that one of the questions? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was the question. Kind of weird. Sorry. <laughs> Not who would you do? Who would you give it to? Who or what would, yes, would you do I with it? it to uh, dang, that's a whole other conversation. Uh, right. <laughs> a whole new identity and give it to myself. You know what I'm saying? You know, you could, like, change your name and stuff like that. So I would give it to that person. <laughs> technically. So works. technically it's you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> uh, I would totally give $2 million to um, a charity for people with depression and anxiety. Mm. Um, oh, that's a good one. And then, of course, I would save the rest, do some investments or something like that. You know, try to build off of that. <laughs> Don't want to spend it all. Because you could spend that pretty fast, I'm sure. I'm sure. Girl. You know, buying Balenciaga I shoes ran through stuff. so much money putting this <laughs> damn show together, girl. I'm going to tell you, like, you that that is a true statement. Like, you could really spend it all really quickly and not even know, like, oh, damn, I really just spent all that money. Like, it's so easy to spend so much money these days and you don't even, like, have a clue. Yeah. I'm just not, like, say that I just came back from Vegas and literally spent every penny I had 
And I'm just like, I said I was going to come back with something. I don't something. think that was the point of Vegas. I think you were supposed to come back with something. <laughs> right. right. Back with anything. <laughs> Nothing. And not to mention, the, I was supposed oh, to go to the oh. NBA, um, what is it, the NBA uh, versus, uh, I'm sorry, it's the USA basketball team uh, versus uh, Nigeria, and that got oh. canceled. So, oh, oh, wow. There already goes a G out the window, you know what I mean? And it's like, just, right. I just kept spending and spending and spending. And, um, oh, wow. yeah, you can really go through a lot of money. Like you said, you could go through, you could go through $10 million in a day if you, if you really wanted to, you know what I mean? Right. So. No, in real life. Especially for those who never had it, that should be <laughs> gone now. <and> day. <laughs> Buying everything. I'm Every getting a car I never had. I'm getting those shoes. I'm getting that those outfit. Pink lobster legs. I'm getting All those two it. wigs I saw. <laughs> <laughs> for real. <laughs> and them oh, lobster legs. Ah. Look, I'm shooting I'm lobster every day. <laughs> no, in real life, though. Yeah, no, you know, wow, seriously, so I, 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 I would really, you know what I, I, I would want to do with that kind of money? I would, I would really go to the uh, communities that, you know, that are um, living uh, poor, that are poor. And I would mm -hmm. develop community centers. I would invest in schools. I would invest yes. in, um, you know, just uh, local places for the community, especially within Black communities. I would totally invest in all of that, you know what I mean, to better our youth. Um, yeah. Because, you know, kids are smart, but they need to be nurtured. They need to be cared for. They need to be, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, uh, support, you know, they need support. And so my mm -hmm. money would go into that. And not to mention, I would probably adopt some kids, too. Um, Aww. Yeah, yeah. I, I would adopt some kids from the hood. You know what I mean? Like, like. Uh, Girl. Uh-huh. <laughs> Get a hood proof your house. <laughs> Adopting a couple of them, girl. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just walked past the group home. No, you're not kidding. <laughs> you know what? No, because um, no, it's some real shit. I feel like uh, that 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 for me is a no brainer. Once I like take care of my family and stuff, because that's what I'm already doing anyways. Mm -hmm. Um, I come from the youth working with the youth. Um, I started in high school working at La Clinica at my at my high school, and from nice. there I was recruited. Uh, from uh, this lady that worked with something called Project. Yes, her name was Micah. Um, and through that, we worked on a committee of youth uh, at City Hall in downtown Oakland to help open a youth uprising, which is now on 88th and MacArthur. Um, and so I like was in the middle of the war zone. Okay, when I tell you, like we had everywhere from from fights to gangs to you know turf battles to you know it was the good and the bad. It was very balanced. You know what I'm saying? But again, they needed a, a place to be nurtured, to be cultivated, to find who they were, you know, and I felt like in the beginning when we were working at that center, that's exactly what it was, you know. Um, we called it the crisis center at one point because anytime anybody had a problem, they, like, came up there to the center to see if we could help them solve it. Um, so, very true. I remember I, I got a music video there and I performed there before. Are, are they still there? Mm -hmm. They are still there. I am trying to work on, um, see about getting us a space there to do like, uh, you know, maybe a pop or, or some community event that we could collaborate with some of the other organizations. So just keep an eye on the group chat that we're in and I'll probably be posting some stuff there if I can get it up and running. Cool. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So it's funny that we bring up Youth Uprising because, you know, um, when it opened, or I think it was the grand opening, Keisha Cole came there and she got the key to the city there. And yeah, um, yeah. just recently, let's give a moment of silence, actually. Let's give a moment of silence for mm -hmm. Frankie. Mm -hmm. And it was a really sad situation, ladies like after reading all the different posts and things like that, I didn't really go too deep in details of trying to like really see what all went down. But just to hear that it happened on her birthday was like, wow. Oh. You know, like, I feel like I want to cry right now. Like, cause I, yesterday when I read it, I was just like, what? 
Yeah. Like all the battles and all the things that she's been going through and mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. overcame, or at least we saw her overcome some things on the show. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just, and I, I, I pray that, that, that what they said in one of the posts isn't really how it all went down. But if you guys had heard anything you want to share. Yeah, uh, you know what? I saw it come up in the feed, and I didn't even know it happened until I saw it come up in my feed. And I think that was probably this morning. Mm. Yeah, it happened yesterday. Yeah. I think that was yesterday. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, I saw it in my uh, Twitter feed, and I just I just couldn't believe it. I was like, no. Mm -hmm. she, she was such a cool, loving person, down to earth. Told it like it, told it like it is, and and mm -hmm. she reality TV and uh, she taught a lot of people a lesson, you know what I mean? She's even helped some people herself like by mm -hmm. showing what she's going through. So mm -hmm. gosh, man, I hope Keisha Cole's okay. I hope the family's okay. I mean, it's, it's just devastating news to hear. Yeah, it really I is. I was in their love and blessings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the new people who's joining. Uh, we just was giving a moment to Frankie's passing and I don't know if you guys also seen online, um, Little Nas X made a post about how he was going to jail, but really it was a post marketing his new video. And the new video is in regards to those demon shoes that he was trying to sell, was that like a couple of months ago? Right, with Nike, was it, or whatever? Or, or was it not? <laughs> right. He was trying to, <laughs> trying to say it was by Nike, but, it, but Nike denied. Right, but, it really wasn't. Yeah. It was... Um, some other guy who just designed the shoes off of a Nike shoe, and so the not Nike shoe forward. wasn't they like that tripping over that shoe or something? Yes, they were. So I didn't see the video, and I don't think you guys have either. But if the anybody demon video, comments, yeah, there's a music video called um, what is "Call it? Me by My Name" or some bullshit. Not uh, that one, right? No, it's not. Or it's the new one. Name. It's the new one. Yeah. Oh, see, I live under a rock. You're going to have to tell me now. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's called... Here it go. It's called The Industry, baby. Oh, see, I'm going to have to go pull that up. Uh-huh. You know, he made that because he's an industry plant. You know what I mean? Exactly. Is, and them labels, all the people who are behind them, it's just all a money grab at this point. You know what I mean? Until he's done. I thought he was going to be a one-hit wonder when he came out with his first little so-called country song or whatever. I did too. But right. <laughs> longer. I didn't even Especially know who the hell he was. was. Or Nicki Minaj or something. I was like, yeah, he's going to be a one-hit wonder. Like, right. Nah, how I knew he was going to last at least another hit was all the kids. When the song came on, my backseat was full of little kids. And they all started singing the song in sync. I'm like, wait. What's happening right now? <laughs> like, okay, he might, you know, he got the kids. He might be on to something just a little bit. Right, right. Well, I think he definitely has something once he got, um, I forget, what's his name, his dad on the song? On uh, that one song, the, the country, country guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. Yeah, there we go. Once he got him on the song, oh, I think for sure it was at that point I was like, Oh yeah, it's yeah. gonna go somewhere. And then yeah. when it became a controversial thing, the black man shouldn't be a cowboy type thing, whatever, it was like, Oh yeah, he gonna be here for a minute. Like <laughs> he gonna be here. Y'all still talking about it? and then he came out with the gay. I was like, Oh yeah, y'all go he gonna be here for a minute. <laughs> just a little while longer. For, I thought that was a gimmick. I thought like him being gay, that was just a gimmick on top of everything else. Um, just to get you know more fans, mm. but is is he is he really gay or is that or is it just all for play? Uh, Industry baby, I don't way. know at this point. <laughs> it, it looks <laughs> that way, I but you know looks are deceiving. So and he's young, so you know young people sometimes grow out of that sometimes. So. Right, it's like a phase, like sometimes, yeah. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> And if it's not, it's cool. Mm. But little Nas X, like, come on, dude. Like, everything that you're doing is a gimmick. It's a stunt. And it's just like, how... Yes. He's definitely know. trolling the industry. Exactly. And for all three mm. of us who are musicians, who are serious musicians, mm -hmm. offense to 
to that because it's like, man, all of us have been doing music for years. You know what I mean? And then you mm -hmm. got him out, you know, uh, his dingling on Saturday Night Live or whatever he was doing. His <laughs> <laughs> right. Please, God. Right, <laughs> kissing men at the uh, BT Awards and right, right. And I'm yeah, sorry, I've seen that. I've Cyrus seen that. I don't. All he had was Billy Ray Cyrus on the hook, who's obviously a country artist, and then he had uh, a little bit of what guitar, some shit that made it sound country, but it was really just it was really a hip hop song because it still had bass behind it. You know what I mean? Still had right. like, uh, uh, you know what I mean? Right. So right. Mm -hmm, he's mm -hmm, not a real mm -hmm. country artist or none of that. Right. So you uh -huh. agree with what they were saying about him. Stop. Gotcha. <laughs> they sell they sold to the gold. <laughs> yeah, that's what he, I feel like that's what he was trying to say in all his music. It really is like he's an industry baby. They got him from Twitter being a troll for Nicki Minaj. Mm. And really pretty much they yeah. He used to play on, on Twitter Ooh, as the, he was a girl. Trolling. Oh. Uh-huh. Ooh, I didn't know oh. that. Mm -hmm. He's What's a mess. Though? He's a oh. mess. But since we're talking about how he's not really a rapper, I mean, not really a country star, but he's more of like a rap artist, hip hop, pop artist. Did you guys know that Megan Thee Stallion is the first rap artist to grace the Sports Illustrated cover? Oh, yeah. No. And yeah. she black that girl. So yeah. Come on now. You know what I'm I saying? saw a few video clips of the shoot. It looked like it was fun. She is bad. That is one oh, bad. Shit. Yes, she is bad. What up, XO? I gotta go catch that. Right. Hey, Cuddy Bang! The other thing about the Sports Illustrated uh, cover that is really interesting is the <clears throat> excuse me, the tennis girl Naomi Osaka. Osaka. Am I saying that right? Mm -hmm. Osaka. Osaka. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like that. <laughs> sorry miss I've been tagging you all day sorry um so she's also one of the cover girls for the sports illustrated this um coming month also they do like three or four covers each month so there's nice. megan the stallion who was the first rapper female rapper and then there's naomi say it again osaka osaka and then there's um this other girl who was the first transgender to be on the cover of Sports Black. Illustrated. I'm sorry, I can't even remember her name, but it's, it's but Black. my main point of this one is that Naomi Osaka has been criticized for having this cover because of her, um, what do you call it, when you reject yourself from the Olympics? Because she took herself out of the Olympics mm -hmm. because of the press conference stuff. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. other reporter named Megan... Megan Kelly? Yes. I'm glad you already know. Boom. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Megan Kelly <laughs> has all this to say about Miss Naomi. Like, how how are you? Let, let, I'm going to read it for quote for quote from her um, Twitter yeah. page. Yeah. She says, let's not forget the cover and, of an interview in Vogue Japan and Time Magazine. Since saying she's too introverted to talk to the media after tennis matches, Naomi Osaka has launched a reality show, a Barbie, and now is on the cover of Swim of Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. She then goes on to say, well, Naomi says to her, seeing as you're a journalist, I would have assumed you would take the time to research what the lead times are for magazines. If you did that, you would have found out I shot all of my covers last year. Instead, your first reaction is to hop on here and spew negativity. Mm. You need to do better, Megan. Woo! Yes, Naomi! When I yes. saw that, I said, girl, you better go. You better tell that lady off. Ooh, how the did... tea is hot, girl. Like, how... hey, woo! And... Coming from me, a person who suffers from depression and anxiety, I completely understand mm -hmm. when you don't mm -hmm. feel like being in front of the camera or in front mm -hmm. of people just asking you a whole lot of questions. I've also been mm -hmm. on a panel where, like, kind of like how the sports are, where you sit there and everybody's asking you questions and the cameras and lights are flashing. And that really acts, for me, it acts on my anxiety. Like, it just is, like, too much. 
and like having one person ask me a question and three other people over here with questions yeah. and I'm trying to answer a question. Yeah. Like all of that is just too much. And for her, mm -hmm. uh, Megan, to be a journalist, you would think she would have some kind of like consideration or like an open heart to that situation. Like it's all, I don't know. People are just being so negative in this world. It's, it's hard to kind of like keep a grasp on it. Right. How do you guys feel? You're right. And you know, uh, also, too, Naomi was uh, on the cover of uh, Vogue in Hong Kong. Mm, okay. And and she's sporting braids, um, you know, really showing off her black culture. Nice. And so, I, 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 no one hasn't said anything yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if somebody was like, oh, you know, she's <laughs> on the Hong Kong cover with braids. You know, she's supposed to represent us right now. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Oh my right. God, about, you know, and it right. is that it's so you know true. Like somebody's gonna come for it because it, like you can never satisfy everybody, you know. And I always feel like it's the people who mm -hmm. who can't or who haven't been in those positions that always want to pop off at the mouth first. Like you do it, you walk a mile in these shoes and then and then come back and have an opinion. Exactly. Okay? Right. Exactly. Yeah. I, I fucks with Naomi Tough. I love her for that response to Megan Kelly. Yeah. Because she's yeah. for herself and, you know, she, all she wants to do is play sports. She just wants to play tennis. You know what I mean? And not yeah. all athletes are into talking to the press or being in the spotlight. You know, they're, they're, they just want to play sports. That's all. Right. Exactly. And so, um, as I mentioned, the first transgender woman on the Sports Illustrated, her name is Lenya or Lenya. L E Y N A, I'm probably butchering her name. Bloom. You guys go look her up. She's a Ms. beautiful Bloom. model. I'm not saying that you need to look her up because you need to date her. But look her up. She's a beautiful young lady. <laughs> and if you've watched the movie, or not the movie, sorry, the series Pose, then you know that there was a, uh, in, the ep in those episodes, there was a young transgender lady who went to the Ford Model Agency, became one of the top models. And then got, um, you know, backlash for being transgender, and they just cut her contracts everywhere. So this is definitely. Did they good. not know that she was transgender? They didn't know. She didn't say. She just went mm. and auditioned for the model position. They didn't ask. It was in the early '90s, late '80s oh. in New York. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. That that means so. that she did a really good job. You know what I mean. <laughs> Right. <laughs> In real life, though. <laughs> right. Because she got that far and y'all just now noticing. Mm. Shame on y'all. Right. Exactly. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, my God. So now I love that we're on this uh, platform called Instagram. And, you know, <laughs> we love to spend our free time on right. Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> but a rapper by the name of Young Blue says, if men want to be faithful, they should stay off of social media. How do you feel well, about that? If the shoe fits. <laughs> uh, look. So <laughs> I am for self-regulation. I think like all of this kind of that kind of falls in line like as a as a close distant cousin of like rape culture and shit like oh if women can't go out in short skirts like it's their fault if this shit happens to them like no it should be about that person that's doing that behavior and their their uh, ability to self regulate themselves it shouldn't be about oh well if they can't you know if if they can't be faithful, they shouldn't be on social media. Like, no, that's some bullshit because you should still be able to live certain bits and pieces of your life within your means, right. as far as I'm concerned. I uh, but, And, uh, yeah, no, it's crazy you brought that up, um, Diamond, because uh, I don't know if you guys remember, remember the game was sued uh, a couple years ago by one of the girls on his dating show because they... <laughs> on like a real date after the show. And I guess, you know, because of what she's wearing, I don't know, but he touched her inappropriately and she sued him and won the case. And I think he had to pay her like $15 million. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Here's the thing, she was like, you know, she wasn't wearing no panties. And so I guess that's why he, you know, did, did whatever. 
but uh, so first of all, both of y'all was wrong, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, you broke even. Like what? She was like, just because I'm not wearing any panties doesn't mean a man is supposed to touch me. And then he was like, well, she wasn't wearing any panties, so. <laughs> So how was I supposed to take that? I mean, right. shit, with right. some panties on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, wait. Wait. Like, she had wait. So we sitting down at lunch or dinner, and I'm like, yeah, so I ain't got no panties on. And he, like, just was like, oh, okay, and it felt me up. Like, wait, <laughs> how did that even come into conversation? I believe that <laughs> already get to a certain point once it got to that part, and he realized no panties on, he you know, did whatever. He was like, oh, yeah. This is my kind of party. Right. You ready? Like, <laughs> you already, huh? Even though, like, no, still, like, you need an invitation. <laughs> just because the door is open at someone's house doesn't mean you just walk right in. Okay? But, you, you know, hey. Oh, my gosh. Right. <laughs> Real talk. Shit. Ooh. I ain't wearing no panties right now. Shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, That's if the bra don't funny. fit, don't wear it. <laughs> right. <laughs> don't wear it. Don't. Just don't. Don't even try it. But that's interesting oh, wow. that you bring that up, that the lady was, she felt like she was inappropriately touched or, yeah, <laughs> all of that. And I, I hate to laugh. I'm not trying to laugh. I'm not being funny. This is a serious matter. In so Oakland, it is. last week, a young lady was held captive for three days in her home. Not in her home, sorry. In a stranger's home down there. Today, the news reports that the woman knew the man from previous dealings and decided to go hang out on, a, I guess, maybe Sunday or something like that. Or three days later, who was that? Like last, the week before last on a Friday. And she decided mm -hmm. to go hang out with the guy, and the guy wouldn't allow her to go home or wouldn't allow her out the house. Mm -hmm. He raped her for those three days. At least that's what she's saying now in the news. And um, after watching the reports from last week to today, I feel that the police should have kept the man in custody, but they didn't. Wow. How can we, Ooh, I mean, we can also talk about this, but how could we as women and as people be safer or try to be more safer when we're hanging out with people that we don't really necessarily know as well as, you know, our friends? You know, like, first of all, everybody nowadays, the culture is just jump in, jump out. So first of all, don't jump the fuck in if you don't know the temperature of the goddamn water. How about that? I mean, it's, it's, it's very simple math. People be trying to make it complicated. Like, I have friends like this. Like, they run through them. And I'm like, bro, like, how do you do that? And I'm more of an energetic kind of person. So I, I, I look at it on a whole nother level. It's not just a superficial means of my body. It's like my energy, my essence, my, my, my life source. Like, I can't just go around offering that to everybody because my physical being is tied to that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, how can you just jump in and you don't know what you offer? That could have been Satan, as far as I'm concerned. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, so, I mean, uh, people just really taking the time or even just being in tune with your most high self, your intuition tells you a lot. A lot of people just don't fucking listen, you know, because a lot of people will say, oh, I should have just went with my first mind. And usually your first mind is that little whisper that you ignored, you know, and then you go with the louder one. It's like, do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, damn, I should have followed my first mind. It always happened like that. Yeah, You know, so one, just, you know, really just being in tune with the most high frequency within yourself, because that will be your navigation system. But then two, after that, actually paying attention to the turns of navigation it's telling you to fucking make. Right. You yes, know? definitely. I, like, uh, <clears throat> when I was, you know, younger, living with my parents, um, and say if I'm going to, like, meet somebody or whatever, I would um, I would just text my friends and let them know what location I'm at, mm -hmm. like night or whatever. And so if I come up missing, you remember somebody knew, right? Exactly. Yeah, no, real life, right? So, 
that that's the best thing. Or, you know, even today I get friends who are like, hey, you know, I'm about to go meet this dude or whatever, whatever. You know, I'm at this hotel. This is the address. So if you don't hear back from me by, you know, midnight or tomorrow, you know, mm-hmm. like call the police and tell them where I was. I'm like, okay. <laughs> No, seriously. You know what? That that's actually a good point that you make. I uh, you just reminded me. Like I share my location constantly with three people all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, one, my daughter, my mom, and then usually one of my friends, like you said, so that you know at least there's a few people. You know, people's phones move at different speeds, so what your phone may not have picked up, that other person's phone may have. You know what I'm saying? So I say, you know, go with the three rule. You know, find like three people you really trust that you know you can share that with at all times, no matter what, because even just not going out on a date or with someone like shit could just happen in regular public you know what i'm saying like exactly. shit is crazy nowadays you know so just no, always having real. that connection to somebody is good yes definitely and since you brought mm-hmm. up the fact that not just going on dates do we need to be safe have you guys not heard or noticed how um is it the bay street shopping center has been getting a lot of news coverage because people were getting robbed there in the parking garage Emeryville. I think I do remember seeing that briefly. I didn't get the news that night, but I did kind of like see that come up, but I haven't really heard too much about that. So two um, young ladies were visiting from out of town. They were returning some pants to one of the stores. They had just pulled in to the parking lot, getting out the car with the bag, and two gentlemen pulled up um, but with a gun and forced them out of their car with all their stuff took their car and robbed them took bags and everything and one lady almost got Mm. hit by a car and they were recorded by some civilians in another car and the civilians helped them while the police came but okay i think that's the clip that i saw mm -hmm. was the person in the car recorded everything but i just kind of like glanced at it i was getting ready for something because i was on my way out but damn that's what that was Mm mm-hmm Yep. That's crazy. So, when, say it again. When, when did this happen? Uh, that was also last week. Wow. That was on a Friday, I think, or Thursday. Mm. Um, they done lifted the restriction for Corona and everybody just done went wild. Yes, <laughs> they have. They just doing whatever they want to do. And, and since they're just doing whatever they want to do, like, mm. what do you, do you mm. think that they're going to try to put martial law on us? I don't think it's that bad yet. Are you sure? You should watch the news. <laughs> when I see Armageddon outside my window, I know it's that bad. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I, I, I think it would definitely have to be a widespread thing for them to want to enforce that in particular. Um, and that, I guess the reason why I'm not trying to will that in our space, that just sounds so fucking scary. Right. I just, like, I don't want to take like? it back. We was just joking, universe. You can have that. Yeah, no, nah, we were Shit. just wondering, and I just, yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think that would look like? Like, you know what? I um one of my ex homegirls that I used to fuck with, she had a dream about that shit, and the way that she described it was very scary because it didn't look good for us. Mm. You know, and then the culture, some of the cultures in the mainstream that affect our people in particular, like it would be really hard for us to pull it together to combat that. Mm. Because, again, it would not look good for us is what I'm feeling. But, you know, mm-hmm. I'm just some black girl from BB. So like, what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've heard that one, too. A lot of people who I've asked that question to said the same thing. How do you feel, Keltel? Or what do you think it will look like? Right. Ask the question again. <laughs> <laughs> if we, because of all of this random nonsense that's happening out here with the the youth robbing, killing, and stealing, mm-hmm. and whatever they're doing out there, right? If we were put under martial law, mm-hmm. <clears throat> what do you think that would look like for us? I think it will actually make us go crazy, to be honest. You know, um, all like kids, it would be like the purge. You know what I'm saying? People breaking in the house, uh, houses, people, you know, breaking into, you know, schools and stores and stuff like that. I think people will just take mm-hmm. advantage of that and just start going mm-hmm. crazy. 
crazy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Definitely. Well, still doesn't look good for us. Right. It is. <laughs> <laughs> like, this doesn't look good for us. So we're just going to stay away from Marshall's Law. <laughs> you know? Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, scary. let me tell y'all this really quick thing because it was something amazing that I saw. Did you guys know that you guys can use feminine products for, in a natural disaster? And I'm not talking about for your girlfriend when she's on the period or when you're on the period. I'm talking about if you was to ever get shot, have an open wound, you can use a tampon to Duh. stop the bleeding. Stuff it up in that motherfucking wound. Yes, <laughs> yes, boy. Quit playing you know with me. That? I'm super innovative because I already know. <laughs> <laughs> but guess what else you can use it for? What? You can use it as like a lighting tool. So you can put it in a bag mm. full of alcohol and then when you're ready to ignite it, you pull it out and you light the stream and voila, you have your little That's candle or a little fire starter. What? That is pretty nifty. I gotta remember that. Yeah. We got and cool it, shit, man. And you can even use it without the alcohol. So Okay. If you want to use it at, with the alcohol, it will uh, make it burn longer and it will preserve it so that like, you can keep it, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, okay. The second way, or the third way that you can use a tampon is to filter your water. So let's say you're out in the wilderness and the water is murky and you don't have one of those capsules to put in there to clean it. You can pull out, not pull, don't pull it out of the applicator. You keep it in the applicator. Just pull up this because men don't know how to do this. You, <laughs> you pull the little thing, doop, right? You pull it up. I should probably pull one out for y'all. <laughs> and then you put it in your water. <laughs> and then there's like a straw. Of, you, women know. It's a hole. So you use Wait. that as a straw. And the uh, cotton one. from the applicator will filter the dirt <clears throat> and you'll have clean drinking water. But of course, you need to boil that water first to make sure you get all the enzymes and bacteria out. I, oh, she's gonna see if she had one. <laughs> I should have been more prepared for this one. <laughs> okay. And then, um, I think that was the last trick that they had for the tampon. But if you guys know any other tricks, oh, look, she got one. She's gonna show us. Okay. Okay. So this one's a little bit different, though. But it's got the little thing in there. Yeah. Right? Now, what were you saying? Okay, so you see how the string is there? That's the string. And inside of there is the cotton. So you will put that whole thing in a cup of water. Don't okay. pull it out. Keep it in the cup of water. And you would, oh, well, you pop that top part. Pop it until it uh, locks right, in. Like yeah, a okay, there it goes. There you go. There it goes. And now it's locked in, ladies and gentlemen. And you put that in your dirty water after you've boiled it. Okay, you've boiled the water and you want to drink some water. So you put it in your cup and you use the top part as a straw. Where the string is, as a straw. And that middle part will show you the clean water coming up from your dirty glass. <laughs> yeah, right? so my only recommendation beyond that is like everybody just get organic tampons mm -hmm. because these fucking tampons have chemicals in them. Mm. Ah. Okay. Here we go. Why I hate mm -hmm. tampons. <laughs> Girl, no, in real life. In real life. Right? So just to close this out with one more thing. I don't know if you guys know who Issa Rae is. That's yeah. the homie. Yeah. She says that the music that these dudes make nowadays aren't as dramatic or as desperate as their the music was before. Do you Ooh, agree with that's her? A lie. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie. Um, I think the thirst is real, it's just in a different like they just deliver it different. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um I mean well, you know what? Because this generation is is much younger and so yeah, they express themselves differently than how others did back in the early two thousands or nineties. So um, I, I'd say that, um, you know, the younger generation is, uh, you know, the music is a little bit more. Um, For old. them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what about us? Us older women who want to hear the, ooh, baby, come home, I miss you. The, 
the the Charlene type stuff. You know, we want to hear the man saying, "Come on home," and and I miss you. Mm -hmm. Like, what about that kind of music? We don't. We really do not. I've never heard it. Maybe some underground artists like um, what's the guy that came to the show? True, who was singing? J Luck. Shout like, out to my know, guy J Luck. Yes, Nigga, bring it real R and B back, baby. Right. Yes. You know, like, but nobody. Oh, I don't, what I mean, what about um? Remember uh, what is it? Anderson Pack, Bruno Mars. They kind of are okay. bringing. Back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can sprinkle them in. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. But I mean, mm -hmm. if you really want to think about it, though, like, but where is Bruno Mars now? Like well, he had Enjoying that one his song. Meal. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I think that. Y'all music heads out there, if you're doing some R&B or if you're collaborating with some R&B, have your artists talk about some real shit, like some real passionate love shit. Like if they went through a breakup, tell them to write about that. Like for real. You know what? Because it's not and enough so people sharing their expressions of feelings and then people who are like-minded are like, oh, I don't have to feel like that because so-and-so don't feel like that. And a lot of the world feels like that. Like they got to mm -hmm. follow the trend type thing, you know? And so I think with the music that we're in search for, I was watching a video about the music industry. Um, this is partially the reason why I kind of like inch my way in and I'm kind of just observing on the outskirts is because a lot of the way that the music has been engineered, it changed in the early 1990s. Um, it changed from this harmonic kind of thing, and they changed even the herdage, which is the vibration in which the music is delivered. Um, so people are receiving it differently, which is the reason why we see such a shift in the, the music culture. Um, and the reason why stuff like that, of which we seek, doesn't exist anymore, because it was, it was a cultural, it was a systematic cultural shift in the music world. <laughs> Um, and so we, we got to have people like Jay Luck and Lejean and, you know, all of these other artists who are, we have to support them and keep pushing them, you know, because they are trying to bring some of that flavor back. They may put a little new school oomph on it, but nonetheless, they are still trying to produce these kinds of things that we seek. Right. That's true. Yeah. Uh, just like noticing the trend, the trend. The music from like the mid 2000s um, and now it's just like we have some artists that are you know trying to touch a little bit of of the old school R&B old school hip hop but they're not mainstream they're they're independent like I, I had to find out about some of these artists through the net or through Spotify you know right. the labels because the labels they want the uh, wish your boy's name Lil Nas X you know they want you yep to do bad, stuff bad baddie or whatever that little white girl's name do weird things do a little something strange for a little bit <laughs> right. of time right yeah you know, mm -hmm. you, it's five, six, nine, you know what I mean we're looking at gimmicks like that. About, now it's about the personality of the artists and the the, the crazy shit that they do online uh, opposed mm -hmm. to the, the, like the good music they're supposed to be putting out you know what I mean mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so, um, yeah no definitely it, it, it has changed and for yes us grown women you know we do want to hear uh, you know some throwback shit you know what I mean some some good old fashioned R&B you know some no for real <laughs> I mean, but the rappers too, they can rap about how they missing their girl. I've I've heard somebody rap stuff like that. I can't tell you who, but I know I've heard it. <laughs> Kevin Gates is one. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you right. You right. <laughs> I have heard that. Um, okay, so yeah, you right. Um Barry, what is that boy's name? Damn it, his name leaves me. And it's like right on the tip of my tongue. He he made the song. It ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. Oh. He made one song called Blessings, uh. and it was about it was about a girl, and it wasn't quite on track, but like you could get the gist of what he was saying. He was kind of saying like this girl that he had was a blessing, and he wanted to make sure that she knew that. Right. Um, Damien, what is that boy name? I know y'all know him. Watch. I know. Look, look. look. Look it up, Diamond. She on it. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot think of this boy's name to save my life. And that was one of my favorite songs when it first came Camp. out. That, um, oh, yes, I love K-Camp. 
K Camp. Thank you. Oh my God. I couldn't think of his name to save my life. So yeah, you're right. Rappers can totally do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I miss uh rappers like, you know, uh, fabulous. Uh what's another one that had love songs? Yeah. yeah. Collabs, yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. I, 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 you know, uh, Nelly too. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, dilemma. Yeah, my mom like Nelly. See <laughs> <laughs> him in Vegas on Sunday, but I miss the event. Oh shit! Yeah, Damn. that's my baby daddy. Yeah, ah! <laughs> I'm not about to play with you. Right? I'm not. Woo! I'm not. <laughs> 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 All your clothes. <laughs> okay, oh, look. Take my clothes off. <laughs> yeah, that was the cut right there. So that was one of the hot joints. Mm -hmm. I, I remember uh, Chris Brown, uh, at one point, he was making that kind of music, too. You know, like, uh, just like R. Kelly, R. Yeah. Soulful, you know what I mean? Um, right. And shout out to Chris Brown. He's still doing it. Thing, you know what I mean? Like he's still on hella hooks. He got hella tracks with artists and stuff like that. So, man, can we get the old Chris Brown bag? I know, I know. I like the him. <laughs> I like the him. Yay! Oh. Yeah. Yay. No, I, I love Chris Brown. Is one of my favorites. Also, like I love all of his music. I just liked him better when he first came out. Like it was so smooth and buttery. Right now it's all. Shake your ass <laughs> like this. You see me? Like everything has to be a banger. Yep. Like correct me. You're right. You're right. <laughs> right. Make some music that we can like, you know. Feel a little you know, They can run their hand through my fake wig and you know. <laughs> All of that. Where right. that music at? Like it won't come off, I promise. Look. <laughs> Like, Wait, I have a question. Play with me. When, when <laughs> sex, uh, do you guys wear wigs? And if so, does it come off or do you take it off? It depends on the wig. Yeah, right. <laughs> if know, it's one like what she got on. Yeah, because uh, yeah, these ones have to be mounted, honey. Right. You don't it's, want it's them only. flying off like the video I sent y'all earlier with the lady on the catapult <laughs> and the wig <laughs> completely ripped the fuck it off. Like, all the way. <laughs> that was you know what I'm saying? Funny. Like, it's different wigs for different occasions. Right. Wait, so I wouldn't have worn my expensive $180 wig on the catapult at the amusement park. I'm sorry. Oh, no. That's <laughs> when you wear your, your $29.99 beauty supply wig. Because it's going to get wet. It's possibly going to fly off and your feelings won't be hurt when it's gone. You know? Right. <laughs> you know? You know, you go in with, with the sewing if you know you're going to have a long night with your, your companion. You know? It's just different wigs serve different purposes. I'm just saying. You know? <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> That's, That's just a lot of us. <laughs> no, you know what's so funny? Um, when uh, uh, we went back to my, my mom's hometown uh, in Southside Chicago, and uh, oh, shit. everybody's whatever, and it was really windy. And she was wearing a, a ponytail clip. Remember when ponytail clips oh, were rough? Shit. Really fun? <laughs> she was wearing that, and that shit flew right off and went into <laughs> Froze. Just wig flying off and everything. Shit. Yeah, I'm wearing a uh, a bonnet. If it's one of the ones that uh, mm -hmm. they on like yeah. hers, because I don't want to sweat it out and mess it up. So I like put a bonnet on. But if it's one of the ones that I ain't got it secured down, then I'm just gonna take that thing off. And it's free <laughs> will. I ain't gotta be worried about sweating my edges and then like let's just get it in. <laughs> Thing. You know <laughs> what they say. Yeah, I'm gonna get my little swirl on. Hey, like 
you know what? what? Watching that video, I swear to God, I learned so much. I told everybody from now on, I'm a, when I go to amusement parks, I'm tying it on like this. <laughs> No, for real, after watching that video, for the show, because that I would be so pissed <laughs> off. So pissed off. Like, I came here cute. I would have to snap that and post it on YouTube or something, because, like, I came here looking cute. Got on this one fucking ride. Right. Oh, <laughs> like, how do you survive the rest of the amusement park day? You walking around with this stocking cap, have makeup on. Like, what do you do? Do you go buy a hat? You have to buy a hat at that point, right? You better. Like, yeah. like what you do? You I mean, oh, unless, yeah. what did you have to get underneath that stocking cap? Because maybe your hair might have some nice French braids or a nice little you could possibly I don't know. Take, exactly. Hit the bathroom, take them out, wear yeah. the little crinkly do, you know? Right. Hey, Hopefully. that teeth fly in the room. Hey. Bye. In the building, y'all. Hey. Look why I'm uh, over here inviting yeah, everybody. Like, right. <laughs> I'm like, okay, make sure y'all share the live. We're actually coming to a close, y'all. So if there's anything else you guys want to add, say hi, or you want to pop in real quick and give some support, we can do that for a few minutes. But yeah, if not... Mail. Where's the mail? Come on, y'all. Oh, y yeah, guy. Yeah. Let's Come have on. a guy's perspective. All right, let's, let's uh, bring uh, T. Philo. Hold on. Chief Fly, I'm gonna get you in, brother. Boom. Just sent you a request. Come live with us, please. Yo. Instagram needs to have it or people on, like, you know what I mean? At the same time, like five or six. Right. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. What's up? What it do? What it do? Welcome. How you doing? He said, welcome. What is it <laughs> You know, we got to do this like a real show, Lightweight. <laughs> you see, we got a lot of titties. Uh, yeah. Nah, I see. Who, who's the one that added me on this shit? I did. I uh, sent the, I sent the file, the, uh, what do you call it? To your DM. Um, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, what what are we supposed to talk about? You? Yeah. What <laughs> you doing? What's new in the world? I'm working on this new project right now. Um, I'm, well, my new project right now, but I'm also working on my little brother, uh, Cecil Thompson Thompson Jr. Uh, project. He he's putting out a gospel album. So I'm working oh, on that. I got SBA1 coming out. My little nephew, Jordan J3. Um, hey. I mean, it's, it's numerous of things. I'm um, getting ready to go in with uh, Janae Iko. Thank God. Uh, Ooh. Uh, All right. I mean, hey. Cool. <laughs> well, what else? Okay. You know, I'm, I'm like what I'm hearing. Keep going. I can't wait to hear this new music. You know? Oh uh, yeah, that's where we own. You already know. Can you send us a link to your um your cousins? I think you said they're your cousins, right? Mm -hmm. uh, no, my my little brother, my little oh, brother. Oh, little brother. Yeah, it's Cecil Thompson Jr. and my nephew is J three. My my little brother, his name is FBA one. Okay. Um, yeah, if you just go to my followers, you can just see and see um, them. That I follow all of these. Yeah. And you just go get them, but tap in with them people. Uh, yeah, like I told you, we doing gospel, we doing everything. So, EML, everything, everything, EML. Oh, shoot. I like that. I'm going to really tap in with that gospel. Uh, yeah, man. That's what we coming from. Yeah, that's what we coming from. That's where I come from. It's only right. That's right. And for the people who just came in, let them know who you are. Shit, I ain't gotta let them know, but uh, for those that don't know, it's neighborhood deep <laughs> All right, mom, I'm out of here. I gotta go. All, All right, right, thank hey, you. Yeah. All right, mama. Uh, no, I wasn't talking to y'all, but yeah. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, go. <laughs> His real mama. <laughs> Bye, mama. Bye, mom. <laughs> Hello. Mom. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Who else wants to come on? We need we need some more uh some more uh good looking guys real quick before we close out. 
Let's see. Ah, uh, let's get. Ooh, who that be? Mm. Well, we about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. follow us and make sure you follow Kelda Music because she's the main person of the show if you're not going to follow nobody else make sure you follow Kelda Music so that way you can get in on all of our topics every week Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8pm unless there's something dire happening between all of us hold on I got one more person want to come in and y'all make sure to follow come through. Dine. Come through. what the come to follow true true threads 510 man y'all gotta follow us and stop playing we doing some real shit and shout out to brand she couldn't make it today but she's gonna be here next time you know what i'm saying we gotta yes. hold for our sisters what's up y'all i'm trying to invite one of y'all niggas in the room y'all keep playing y'all shy don't, don't be shy you just want to know what you got now, going time. on you an artist kids. a dj a photographer a model a a regular person? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we want to hear it. Wally, I'm going to put you in the room, bro. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Wally Wampers. There he goes, Wally Wampers. Please be sure to share the live. Share the live. Like, comment, and subscribe to us on YouTube. <laughs> that was so professional. Right. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm working on it. Well, I guess Wally didn't want to join us. All right. Let's see. We'll try one more. One of you lucky fellas better accept this invite. Dun, dun, dun. Don't be scared. We don't bite. Right. right. We just had T fly. We just had T fly on here. So y'all can totally just jump on. Just right. Jump on. <laughs> nothing to be afraid of. We're not going to ask you to do nothing crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not a plan. <laughs> That's for the Mom next. Is. That's right. for the we going to do some nasty stuff on the next show. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> what you like whipped cream hmm. <laughs> or syrup Ooh. no sugar no sugar no sugar wait I was doing something syrup okay on my toes maybe <laughs> oh Wally just come in the room with that is another conversation for Thursday how about <laughs> It'll well, be freaky y'all thirsty happy, Thursday. Y'all will gladly okay. join. Um, while like we, there's no life. topic because we're trying to um, end it, but we wanted to have you come on just to tell us about who you are and what's going on. And if you need a topic, we can pull up one of the ones that we had from before and ask you. I mean, we talked about a lot, so it's a lot to cover here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like, how, how do you feel about the music and how dudes back in the day, like 90s, uh, Jodeci and like Usher had the music that was like mm -hmm. letting women know how much you cared and yearned for a woman. And how nowadays the music is kind of a little bit different. You kind of have to read between some some lines that's not even there. <laughs> it's rough around the edge of girl, tell the truth. <laughs> right. I'm trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not sugarcoat it here. Right. <laughs> it's a little rough. Even the women are a little rough these days, you know? And I look, look at myself like, okay, like me as an artist, like when I'm clowning around, because that's what I call it, I'm clowning around. There's so many other things that I could be talking about, you know? So the little bars y'all see me, I'm actually like blowing some steam off and getting some of my frustrations out. But a lot of the shit that people are talking about is fucking garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Whether yeah. they rapping, singing, whatever the fuck they doing, like all of it is about securing a bag, smacking a bitch, you know, cars, drugs. Mm -hmm. uh, what am I? What am I forgetting? Cars, drugs, sex, alcohol. <laughs> all of that kind of fall under one umbrella, right? You know what I'm saying? So like, it's all like it's not meaningful. 
No. Right, right. You want something with substance to it, you know what I mean? Not just people just rambling on about blah, blah, blah. Like, <clears throat> and, You know, and then at least if you're going to ramble on, at least make it sound tight. Like, these niggas just be garbage. You don't even know what the hell they saying half the time. Right. right. <laughs> you just be like, huh? I like, that. <laughs> and the bitch said, <laughs> she's like, oh. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Somebody got a little scared to come in the room. See, y'all can't mess with the deep. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. We'll hey. come back to this. All right. Because my boobs, they said it a few times. They was like, oh, big boobs. Like, they got okay. scared. Somebody said that. <laughs> I was like, well. <laughs> um, it was like, no, change my mind. <laughs> Hilda, can you stand up real quick? Oh no, I can't. No, is that a robe? Because that's cute. Yeah, it's made by a uh, uh, black lady, uh, Tati. Oh, yes, okay. yes, she gave you a compliment earlier. Yeah, yeah. is that a robe though? That's a robe. Uh, it's no, it's not a robe. No, it's like a long um. Oh, shawl. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I got on too. A little shawl. <laughs> I got covered. Oh. You want to see it, though. I can't see. You know, we're going to have to meet her on the outside. No, in real life, because I want to see it. Do look hella cute. Your hair and your lipstick and everything is banging. Thank mm -hmm. you. Let's try to, I was trying to invite, uh, which one of y'all? Seneca. Seneca. So right. <laughs> All y'all want to come I'm in. I'm a little blind. I still, I got my glasses on. I still can't see. Riff Raff the Great. Is he still in the room? Uh, I don't know. I think he left. Let me try to invite. Let's do that. Don't be scared, y'all. Don't be scared. Who got the hit? <laughs> no, but, you know, we always have a good time on here. We like to fuck around. And, ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, you know, we like to fuck around, have fun. You know what I mean? Talk a little shit. We ain't got no cocktails or anything like that right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. No. What's going to happen next time is any of these niggas that log in, they're going to cash out. Fresh out the shower. That's what we want to see. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Save that for Thursday. Thursday. But it is yeah. Tuesday, though. Shit, we thirsty on Tuesday, too. No. <laughs> uh, today's a little parched. <laughs> <clears throat> today's <laughs> I know. Titty Tuesdays. That's why her titties out. But he okay. fresh out the shower so he can show with some skin. Right. And a little water dribble. A little water dribble. <laughs> a little dribble. <laughs> oh, he corrected us. He said it's Taco Tuesdays. Our bad. You well, it could be tacos and titties. Well, you know, if you're you know, a freak, you it's titty Tuesdays. Tacos off the titties. Sorry, mm -hmm. I get carried away. You eat the tacos and you get some titties. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Tacos and titties just go together so well. Yep, they do. And, and then you're so big, you can down there put your taco right there. No. <laughs> <laughs> yep, look. I'm telling you, it works. It works. Titties too. It yeah. works. Titty too. Hi, ladies. Hey. 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 What's going on, though? I appreciate you taking the time to step out the shower for us for a second. <laughs> oh, shit, I want to see what's going on. I'm trying to see. I, when I see black ladies doing their thing, shoot, I'm trying to listen and learn. Like, what's going on over here? <laughs> oh, thank you. We are closing out our show. If you please follow us for next time, we'll be on, set, on next. Is it this Thursday we're going to be on? Yep. 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 This Thursday at 8 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. If you're in California, I'm not sure where you are. Where are you from? California. Okay. What part? We're at in Cali. Um, South Central. Okay. Mm. I'm not yeah, from there, but you know. Not from now. I'm stopping the floss and swap meat. Okay. I've been here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. I was gonna say I know exactly where that's at. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no. Come through if, if like this. If you ladies crash your cars, anything like that, need suspension work done, anything like that, body work, suspension motors, I do it all. Okay. Well, y'all well, you. If y'all in South Central, go get your car fixed. Sure. Bring oh, it. Please, please, please. 
Yeah, Period. bring your cards, bring your cards. The first thing is majorly welcome, majorly welcome. We're black business, we're black owned business, we're young. I'm about what, I'm 37. We doing our own these cards. What's the name of the page. business Y'all again? Be... Um, Dino's Automotive. Mm, All the way. Okay. Um, Dino's Automotive. Um, we're on Slauson and Western. We do anything that you need for cars. If y'all can't, if we can't get it done, for sure, we got somebody on that strip that does something for cars. Mm, that's right. Whether it's tent, rent, whether it's tent, music, whatever. Like that whole side that we got right there is all auto industry. And it's that's all black? <laughs> all black. Mm. Oh, no, I, got, I ain't gonna lie. I got, I got a couple of my... I got a couple of my Latino homies doing my painting for me for sure. It's but ethnic. Well, then it's all, it's it's all color. That's color. Yeah, it's That's all color. ethnic. We all over black there, and brown. Okay? You know. That's <laughs> yeah, we got we got like all brown. Yeah. That's good. Yep. Yep. Gotta keep it color. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, we got to. That's true. Shoot, I survived a pandemic with my shop, so I'm happy. Like, hey, we came through. My people looked out for me. I know the black dollar uh, pushes around. Believe me, I know the black dollar pushes around. <laughs> Well, we get them away from the door. I have a quick question for you. Yes, ma'am. There's a rap artist by Young Blue. I don't know if you know who he is. But he says that if men want to be faithful, they should stay off social media. How do you feel about that? True. It's true? No, for real, true. Yeah, you got a lot Why do you feel like that? Why? You got a lot of females sliding your DM. I'm nobody and they slide in my DM all the time. And <laughs> look where you are now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Dang. You know, they be in it, though. They be in it. I get all kind of, I get all kind of stuff. So, like, yeah, if you want to be, I mean, if you're a strong man and you love your girl and you just looking at pics and like it for sure. But when you see that DM, like, you better block everything. <laughs> better block everything. It's enticing. Females will entice you. And then at the same time, you got a lot of tricksters out there, too. So, really watch yourself. Yeah. And so that still goes back to the self-regulatory thing that I was talking about earlier. Like the man has to be able to self-regulate himself. It's not just about these women sliding in a DM because they could be completely clueless unless it's plastered all over your page. And even then, so like he said, some of these bitches just do, don't even care. You know what I'm saying? They so then care. I then put the responsibility on the man just like if it was for a woman with men sliding in her DMs. Like, you have to be able to self-regulate yourself and be true not only to yourself, but to your companionship. True. You know? And I also believe it's like maybe on a self-esteem issue too. Like, well, like there's a lot of Okay, we're going to break this down. All right. This, if a man's being faithful to somebody he's supposed to be faithful to, wifey, that's, that holds him down for sure. But then, you know, you got the dudes that got the abusive females. You got the ones to talk bad to them, the dudes with the slow self-esteem, all that stuff. I said that right there, you want to be on social media, you got low self-esteem, you got a little, you're rocky, your relationship a little rocky. Oh, yeah, you probably slide the other way. And still, that goes back to people being kind of true to themselves, don't it? Because, first of all, it's called self esteem, not her esteem Mm -hmm. in me. It's called self esteem, number one. Um, And then, number two, that goes back to being true to yourself because if you aren't happy in this relationship, why are you in it? You know, you never, you know, but like this, in Cali, it's a lot of benefits, but like this, you know, it's expensive to sell out here. So, you never, like I said, different stuff for different folks. I don't know. It depends on what situation they're in. That's why I say I can't answer, oh, well, should you stay on social media? Depends. Like I said, if you're a faithful man, your girl holding it down, you got self control. I mean, you're looking like that's it. Mm-hmm. Don't talk. Don't do no talking. See, I said, open that door for talking. You get chill. <laughs> so, look, but you can't touch that type of thing. Don't touch. You better not, you better not touch. <laughs> <laughs> you right. Not look, touch. Type, touch, light. Look, can't All that, touch. No, man. Match is back. I, or just like, like, you see, Mark, that's what I said. If most dudes, if they let a girl like they're supposed to, I don't care. They're like, oh, you don't put your people out on social media. Look, if I love my girl and put it on social media, I don't care because I love my girl. If I love the picture that we put, we're going to put that for sure. A lot of these dudes, like I said, a lot of these dudes want to be players. They young. It's a lot. I feel like it's a lot of young stuff going on without no head. Like it ain't no old heads out here. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not trying to get political, but you already know what Joe Biden did is to us for sure. All my leaders and all that babies at that, that '90s mm-hmm. babies and all they in jail. The dudes that was supposed to teach me, but I was supposed to learn. Oh, they all in jail. I know this because I met a couple of them. So I'm like, yeah, you supposed to be out here with us. They won't let them out. So, like I said, they designed this to let the black man fall. But like I said, to be a strong man, you got that. I also have to be a leader. You have to have a leader to teach it at the same time too. And then that and ain't that many black strong mm-hmm. leaders out here like that. We got a lot of knuckleheads out here right now. Mm-hmm. 
But that's why I try to like low key like so demonstrate by what I do. As in just like I said, I run my shop, I own my shop, I got my business owner, I do this, I do that. I try to lead by example, but I can only lead it by example by the things that I do and try to get my people right. And that's it. That's all. I cannot that's do right. anything else but like try to go up there, voice and push my line because these youngsters ain't listening. They will not. They gonna look at you funny. But if they see how you act, it's just like it's like they tell you, it's like mm -hmm. you like a walk, 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 mm -hmm. like a walking Bible almost. That your actions speak louder than your words. Put like that. So. Do the actions, yeah. little dudes look and watch. I'm like, well, how you get so successful? They'll come ask you, how you get so successful? Oh, well, I do this. I got self-control. I do that. I got mental this. I'm into with myself. I know who I am. I, I talk to God. I do this. I do it. It's a lot of things. A lot of them, a lot of them they don't know nothing about no, they don't know nothing about no spiritual nothing, no mm -hmm. higher being, no nothing. Mm -hmm. So that kind of directs everybody the other way, also. Like I said, it's a lot of a lot that goes behind this beyond black beyond like being a black man trying to be um faithful all that stuff like that it's 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 where your root is like your root your solid root is like where where was your foundation built these females gotta know this too where was his root built at have you met his parents have you seen what's going on if he like i said he could be a good man in his personal family but you don't know have your has his day parents together right. is he a mama's boy does he live with his mm -hmm. daddy mm -hmm. who is he raised by what's his mm -hmm. religious background what is, it's a lot of factors mm -hmm. the background is this the man for you or, or is he gonna cheat on social media? Like I said, you don't know if he has self. Like I said, people gotta talk to these dudes. Y'all gotta open, get these dudes to open up. Let him talk. If he talk and he tell you how he really feels, then you know which way this, the really the rich way this, uh, direction of his relationship going for sure. But a lot of females don't know how to yeah. do that because it's hard to get into a man head because he won't open his mouth. We hard headed. We won't. We won't talk. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? And it's hard. To you okay? No more. Out. My arm cut off. You okay? No. Yeah, I'm okay. It's cut off, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm alright. I'm alright. Nah. We be going through mm -hmm. stuff. So. It's hard for us. Uh, have you ever been cheated on before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and how, yeah. how did you find out? Oh, I, I ran up on it. Watched it. <laughs> like the but like this. Like I said, God is a good guy. God let me know what I want to know or what I don't need to know. He told me straight up. He said, hey, "Man, this phone keep on ringing. Why don't you go outside and see what's going on?" I went outside, looked at four o'clock in the morning, and said, "Oh, you're done. You're done. So now this is gonna happen." So. And I don't, but like this, I went through some shit for about what, mm, two years. I let that shit go on for two years. And that was because that was my family and this and that. And like I said, but I, like I said, and all I do, I was fucking up first. I ain't gonna lie. I messed up first. I was, being, I was being a retarded in the beginning of the race. I was being retarded, like I said. But I had to find myself. Like I said, people go through a lot of things. So different mm -hmm. things trigger off different people to different situations. Like I said, mm, it's a lot. So um, yeah, I messed up in the beginning. I rep I got the repercussion at the end. So that's my fault. I blame myself. So it is what it is. But now, with that being said, the current thing, I know what to do. Like, I ain't about to play with nobody. Or if I am going to play, I'm going to tell them, hey, I'm not ready to be, I'm not ready to settle down. So I got friends. That's what I tell you. I got friends. Fit in where you get. They say nobody can get mad. Well, at least I know you. No, know. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you the truth. Well, you I just can't, can't really get mad at shit that you already know. Yeah. 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 I don't know. If they, they're not going to stick around, they're not going to stick around. You cannot have every female. You're not supposed to have every female either. Let somebody else have this girl. Don't worry, go ruin this girl. life. No, you're truthful. I'm truthful. I'm going to tell you, hey, this is what's going down now and or futurely or if you step into the plate or this. Like I said, I have criteria. So if she got this, this, and that, then we could talk. If she got this, this, and that, then we could talk because I know where I'm at. Like, I know where I'm at. Like I said, be me being a business owner himself, I have to put myself a little higher because I already know what could happen at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it could be a little, it could go a little heck. So, you gotta watch this. What's the this, this, and that that the girl gotta have? Um, for me, mm -hmm. spirituality for sure. Um, communication, like to laugh, stuff like, like that. Like, differently, like a lot of interaction. Like, I, I gotta be able to put like this. I'd rather date my, I put like this. I'd rather have my best friend than me have a girlfriend. And that's what people want a relationship with. <clears throat> friend. Right. And I told everybody. I, I tell a lot of people. After the sex is gone, say you sixty, y'all still together. After the sex is gone, what can what's the, what if there's nothing else there? Mm -hmm. Then that wasn't nothing for you. But like I said, if this your best friend, y'all should be able to be each other best friend. Bad times, good times. That's what it's another thing too. A lot of people, like I said, I don't know. Different females, different dudes. Like I said, I don't know that. A lot of people been abandoned when bad stuff happened. That's when you know your, how strong your relationship is when when the, when, the, when the storm hit. If she's still there after this book, if she, but like I said, it's a lot that goes with it. But like, I believe in my heart that I can build my female up. If she want to learn and like project herself, I'm always, always for black businesses, period. I don't care if you do hair. It's still a business. Whatever your time it is, it's still a business. Right. If we can get that going. I'm like, okay, now you smart. Let's go. Let's go make this money. Because everybody knows that at the end of the day, I listen to Dr. Boyce himself. We all know that marriage really is a business at the end of the day. So you're going to build an empire, family, all that mm -hmm. stuff. So like I said, why would you marry somebody that's not, Yup, like you can't. 
You can't, like I said, you can't put apples and oranges together. You can't. If this female's not for you, she's not for you. She might be for the next man. So let that next man have her handle her. The female that you want, that's the one you got to have. You got to step up. Like, hey, what do you like? You got to, these dudes don't talk to these people. They just want to jump in the bed with them. I mean, if you want to do that, do that. That's you. But you're looking for love in the wrong spot. That's your fault. If you get your heart broken, that's on you because you didn't know. You got to get to know these ladies. You have to. Uh -huh. and ladies, like, dudes don't even know how to make ladies talk and giggle. I love doing that. <laughs> Yeah, that's not easy. I know about that way. dude. I, that's what I would do. I would try to warm up to the girl. You know what I mean? Talk to her, make her laugh, and you know, just have like a genuine conversation with her. You know, it wouldn't be all about our oh, girl. You fine, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> like, while I had baby. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, yeah, no, for sure. But you gotta get to know. You got to get to know these ladies. Like I said, people, and I don't want to know the mind. I think the mind is a beautiful thing. That comes mm -hmm. before beauty. That comes way before beauty, because like I said, she could be fine as hell. And the stuff that come out of people's mouth, I'm like, what are you saying? Are you serious? My, man, uh, like man, if a man guy, in real life. No, look, if a guy's hella fine, you'd be like, damn. But then when you talk to him and he just says some dumb shit or he's just ignorant, it's a turn off. It's a huge turn off. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even want to, like, hug you or kiss you. You're just dumb. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, right, so we steer away from that, like, man, or it be that, too. It, but it can't be, like I said, that's what I said. You got to get to know a person. You can have a dummy, but if he listening, well, you can mold that man to something special. That's why I tell a lot of females, you can mold these dudes and stuff. If, okay, a lot of females, well, not a lot of females, some females, I'm going to mold them into what I want. I tell them, no, try to mold them to what you want, because that might not be right. Mold them to what he's going to be. You got to see, the, like, you got to foresee stuff. A lot, of people, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't foresee nothing. Like, you got to foresee mm -hmm. this stuff. You can see paths. Like, if you see a vision, like I said, you tune it to yourself. You're going to see stuff. We all got spiritual gifts of seeing. We can see. I can see. I look at the people's hearts. That's what I do. I look in their eyes and I see their heart. I don't want to see nothing else. I don't see a figure. I don't see a person. I see the heart. Then I see the beauty. Then I see how pretty they are. At the end of the day, the last icing on the cake and the, the last icing on the cake and the cherry on the um on the Sunday is the beauty at the end. Like, damn, man, you fine too? Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. We can talk. Yeah. <laughs> we can talk. We good. I love talking. I've talked to, what, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's how I know I got a real girl. If we stay on the phone to about three, four o'clock, four or five o'clock in the morning, that's it. She's a rat. That's it. That's mine. Cause she talking. I talk a lot. So she talking back with me. We vibing. Oh, to five o'clock. I look at the phone. Oh, we've been on the phone for about uh, three, four hours. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, we got more conversation. We have to. That's great. Ladies, isn't that great to hear that from a from a gentleman? I wish you know, like that like just don't even exist anymore. That like took me back to like Old school, <laughs> lightweight party line days. Right. When you just meet that oh, one yeah, motherfucker and you hop off line and you be like, boobity, boobity, boo, fell hours. Right. Like, that's what that reminded right. me of. I don't know why. Look, and then right. and when you meet the nigga in person, it's old. Oh. <laughs> but you cool, you know, though. I ain't gonna lie. No, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I used to be on the party line. I used to be on the party line. I'd be scared. But like this, we knew. But like this, we knew. We used to be on the so tough. Me and my mom was ratchet. We used to be on the so tough. We actually was said he from. We from Compton. Not disrespecting the Compton ladies. I met a lot of beautiful ones, but we from Compton. I'm not going on the party line. Not going. I already know what I'm going to roll up on. We roll up a lot of people. I'm not, I know what's about to pop up. No. Long Beach? Get ready. We know for Long Beach. We're like, you're long, like, where you from? I'm from Long Beach. Hey, get all the homies. Get all of them. We know what's about to happen. Um, Palm down Lancaster? Let's take a trip. Where yeah. your mom at? She not. We know she not there. We know. They say, no. <laughs> Different parts of California. Where are you from? You from South Central? What part? All from this part. We're not going over there. We already know what's going to happen over there. We're not going. So it depends on what it is. But I've had a lot, like, because I used to have hair. I used to have, like, long hair, like, real long hair. Mm. So when I go through, this was the time when Bow Wow, Mariana, all them cracking all that stuff. Okay, I go through. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, damn you. What's up with you? Oh, yeah. I get that. Oh, hey, how you doing? You ain't ugly and fat? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Can I play in your hair? Yes, you can. Guys, y'all got to leave. She coming with me. Let's go. Let's do this. Yeah, the party line was fun. It was fun. It was. But you never know what you're going to get. Though. I'm like, well, I'm glad that's when they come with the phones and social media. Send me a pic first. I'll tell you my preference. You know what I'm you? I'm with you guys. Everybody have to look. You know, have to I'm 5'5", brown eyes. I weigh 150 to 180. Where? What's your waist size? I just want all that. What's your waist size? And the filter will catfish your ass. They can, they can, they but you gotta tell them, like, nah, nah, y'all be on, like, wait, wait, I got a lot of questions behind these questions, I've been catfished for a lot, like, what you said you was, mm, you lied, you lied, I had a female send my homie uh, a picture of Trina, <laughs> an old picture of Trina, though, 
And I'm looking at the picture like, I know this lady. Like, what is... <laughs> bro, I kept looking at the picture. I flipped it around. I finally seen the signature. I looked. I blew it up. And put, hey, fool, this train is dummy. This is back in the day when she was like 15. <laughs> bro, she got me. Bro, she got me. Bro. Yeah, I'm like, no. Oh. Everybody kept looking like, we know her. <laughs> oh, oh like, yeah okay 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 yeah no nah, you can't i mean you can that's what i said I, that's why i kind of even on this this is better because i'll tell the female if you can't if you can't facetime me i don't know why now oh i'm looking at you better go pick up some makeup you got 15 minutes if you don't i'm blocking you. Oh, i'm sure damn. you gotta get on you gotta get on you tell me people oh, I'll just take you all day. you're not about to catfish me we gotta get on this live so i can see that face for a minute look okay now we can go from there we can go back talking to you do you know how hard it is to be the face 15 minutes is not enough 30. <laughs> 30. Honestly. Hey, I, I, if honestly, it's an hour, you pretty. If it's an hour, you pretty, you in LA, we going on a date if I'm away. And we got to wait. I got to wait. Okay, I'll wait. But something got to happen. All this, oh, I can't. My phone broken. I'm like, wait. You're, that, no, I'm all of that just sounds like you I'm day. sorry. It took yeah. how long? Why you have to all that makeup for? You just come for an interview. But if you have to beat your face, it's definitely going to take longer than 15 minutes. Yeah, I don't is. wear that shit, so I wouldn't know, but I'm just saying, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Right. Hey. Anyway, you know. <laughs> no, I understand. No, I understand something, but for like this, you got to have, even for like this, if I if I ask you to get on FaceTime, and you, oh, I'm, I'm this, I'm, I'm not ready, okay. Hello, excuse I'm me. I'm that. I asked for it, so I'm going to set what I'm going to get. Right. But then at the end of the day, she might be pretty to me. You know, I, t I tell females, when your makeup is off, you're most pretty to me. But when we go on the streets and we go to a club, you put your makeup on, yeah, you look like, yeah, you probably look something different. But like I said, I have to see the hurt first. Like I said, I have my own prep. I don't just go for the finest thing ever. I'm not going to go for that. Cause then, like I said, we might not gel together. But like I said, I go for the heart first. Then everything else falls and everything adds on, on to that. I got to know that mind, that heart, that body, that soul, and that motive. I got to know the motive. What's the motive behind all? That's yeah, what's the motive? I mean, even if they got kids, same thing. I ain't got to prepare myself mentally if they got kids. If you got kids, I got I to gotta go in daddy mode, low key. Like I said, if I like you, I got to figure out what's going on. How's these kids? How many kids you got? Do you treat them right? Are they eating? Are they this? Are they that? I'm not trying to jump in the bed with anything. You're going to get in trouble behind that. I don't know if your baby daddy tripping. I got to find all that out. Mm -hmm. I'm been through a lot. I ain't trying to get shot at, that ran up on nothing. No, no, he did. Everybody on, I don't know. Like I said, everybody on this other stuff, I don't want to meet nobody, baby daddy. I don't want to meet nothing unless he cool. And if it, unless y'all not together, it, it's a lot of stuff going on. Are y'all still dealing with it? Like, in their life, I mean, like I said, do they need a daddy? Do they not need a daddy? We got issues. That's all I need to know. We got a lot of issues. What's the issue? And another thing I feel, a lot of dudes are like, look, it's not about the things that you're attracted to this woman, to this woman. It's the things that you don't like about this woman. Can you, can you accept it? If you can accept the stuff that you don't like about her, oh, y'all gravy, for sure. Mm -hmm. if, it, if, if, if it's a flaw, can you accept it? If you can accept it, you get it. Mm -hmm. I'm good at and she ain't I don't feel like he's a dude because he's still a real shit. Right. Like, real like, Uh-oh, something happened. Yeah. Wait, my, my sound cut off. Oh, okay. Yeah, my new thing do. All right, well, it looks like uh, Diamond was about to wrap it up, or what? What are we doing? Yeah, um, yeah, we can wrap it up. <laughs> Don't you sound love. Look at y'all oh, like this. <laughs> Mama! He was magical as fuck. It was like the black unicorn coming through my nigga. Yes! Right, can we, we can with take all these attributes and a, put them in the fucking clown machine and just spread them across the black community? Like, Wait, what's on Thursday? Yes. Wait, let's see. You work Thursday? Friday. Let me see. I work. Nah. No, I'm good. I don't, because I work. I ain't gonna lie. I own my shop, but at night from 12 to. Well, I just got off a of signal, so I don't know what the hell is going on, but my glands swelled up and all kind of stuff like that. All right, so I work at a 7 eleven also for at night from oh, 12 okay. to like 7 in the morning. But since I've been gone, I was gone for like three weeks. I was down for like three weeks, real good three weeks. They shortened my hours, so I know Thursday I will for sure be off, but I know probably by the way the store is running and how I'm running and how I do stuff and how the sales is going right now, they about to give me all my hours back, probably more than I can handle, probably mm -hmm. more likely. Yeah, they my together. Right, we need that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, all day for like this. I love going on dates. Dates are fun. We got the money. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, when if you, you can tap money, in, fun, we'll, we'll uh, try to send you a little at sign around the time that we tap in. And if you can tap in on Thursday, this Thursday at 8 p.m., 
then you know, just hop on. If not, then it's cool gonna, next I'm gonna, time. I'm gonna set a long for you guys. I'll set a long my alarm for you about seven thirty. I can start getting ready to see what's going on. Okay, cool. We appreciate um, you. So before you go, I'm going to put one last thing out in the universe. I'm actually trying to connect with someone down in the Los Angeles area. Um, you can go to our page, True Threads 510. We host and organize events, particularly for the black and brown community. So we're trying to like get it on the road. I'm trying to make contact with as many people in different uh, communities that belong to us as possible. Um, so that we could take this show on the road and make it bigger than what it is and come and support other black and brown businesses where you guys are at. So if you can go follow us and tap in with me, I would love to make some sort of connection with you, Mr. Seneca, so that we could um, see about that. Okay, hold on. Let me write this down. And I think Diamond just put it on the screen down there as well, which is maybe okay, you can take a screenshot of that. It's uh, True Threads 510. True. Is it with an E or is it no E? Because I might have spelled it. No, I think you spelled it perfect. Okay. T R U E. Yeah, T R U E T H R E A D S five one zero. For sure, I will look this up. For sure, for sure, for sure. So we can tap in and we can go from there. If we can network, like I said, we can network. Because like I said. I do got good, I got I got the best customer service ever. If you guys check out my page, you'll see. Well, I'll give you my other page. Um, I'll DM you guys. Um, my other page, my uh, CEO of DNOs Automotive. That's where all the cars are. But then I also got my own personal page, Cynical Process, that I'm on now. Mm -hmm. That we, yeah, uh, I think I that's the one that I followed. I yeah, think I that's the one. Yeah, that one. one. Yeah, do check out the cars. Like I said, um, I got before pictures, after pictures, doing pictures, me doing work, my boys doing work, everybody putting in work, probably a couple of pictures of my painter doing this thing. But like I said, we do immaculate cars. Like I said, we try to our best to work with people. Try our best. Like I said, just start yeah, just got to work on there. Yeah. Everything, y'all. Yep. That's it. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Oh. Yep. There we go. That's it right there. Yep. Okay. And I post my food. I know how to cook too. That's another thing. That's my little secret. <laughs> I want to tell you, I know how to cook very, very good. Oh, so you just a jack of all <laughs> trades, sir. I want to make sure to give uh, our special guest a shout out. True Threads, who came on today. True, you are an amazing woman. You are talented. You are creative. I enjoy working with you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Like, this is the longest we've ever gone on the podcast. <laughs> but, uh, Seneca, we'll make sure to stay in touch with you. Hopefully, we'll see you Thursday. Yes. And shout out yes. to my, you know, my co-host. Yes. Always. Come Bye. Food, come food. Food. All right. Thank you, ladies. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And thank you, Calda. So Thanks. much for having me. I appreciate you so much. I love you, Dad. All right, love bye. you too. Bye. See you later. <laughs>